Hi, what's up, gang? Happy new moon. In case you're new, in case you've never seen me before, my name is Spiri. I'm an artist and animator who talks too much, and I like to check in with myself during the moon cycles because I've noticed that I have... I don't know how to put it. I just have experiences that go along with the moon cycles. So I wanted, and the more that I've been noticing them, the more that I've been picking up on these different routines or situations or energies or impulses that I might even have, you know? So it's been cool. So the new moon that we're having right now is March 21st. And it's a new moon in Aries. And on top of that, it's also the spring equinox. So just real new flourishing energy all around. It's very funny, but I feel so uh, slowed down. And that's another thing that I wanted to kind of keep track of with these videos. I mean, granted, I guess you could kind of tell in the last video, but I was pretty hyped. I was pretty up. I was pretty energized, I guess is a good way to put it. Um, but right now I'm just kind of like, I really had to bring myself to push to record myself to do this right now. It took me a minute to get to that point, but I knew I needed to get it done, which I guess is a good segue into what kind of thoughts I'm having, what's the stuff that I'm thinking about right now, um, in terms of the topic. I feel very relaxed. I feel very laid back. I'm still working hard. I'm still trying to be productive, but I'm also just trying to, now that it is a new moon and this is like the cleansing period for me, basically, I'm trying to see what parts of my life am I cool with and what parts of my life am I not cool with and what parts of myself am I chill with and what parts do I want to change? What parts am I feeling like are too off for what my actual self is and what is it that I want out of myself and stuff like that. Those are the kind of questions I've been asking. And one of the things that's come up is just like self-discipline. I know that a lot of people see me as disciplined and controlled and all this other stuff, but usually I'm not. Nine times out of ten when it comes to the things that I'm passionate about, I'm not very disciplined on them. They come in short bursts, like previously. Nowadays, I can finally say I'm pretty disciplined. But beforehand, no, they would come in short bursts. Sometimes I wouldn't feel it. Sometimes I wasn't into it. Sometimes I'd be into it for days and then it just like kind of go kaput, you know? So it's just, it's, it's, it was never very consistent. It was, it was very difficult for me to form some level of discipline if I can't even stay consistent, you know what I mean? But thankfully nowadays I've been keeping more being more in check and learning that that's one of the things that I do want to try to like push to the side is my lack of discipline especially when it comes to the things that I'm genuinely passionate about you know so that's something that I've been looking into more something I've noticed along with self-discipline or as I've been you know journeying through becoming a more self-disciplined creator self-disciplined artist self-disciplined whatever you want to call it is that the first initial thing I'll have a thing like uh take this video me making it for example I have the action that I need to do to record and edit this video and for whatever reason there is this wall that comes up that basically feels like an obstacle and it makes me feel like, man, I don't want it. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to do this. What I realize is that if I push past that, if I go past that initial level of discomfort, I don't know why my eye keeps twitching. If I go past that initial discomfort and actually, you know, go towards my goal and pursue it and keep going, I end up feeling a million times better than I did if I hadn't had just like pushed past that initial level of discomfort and it's just initial level at that i think that it's going to be uncomfortable the entire uh time of me doing it or sometimes i do other times i know that i'll have fun if i start it but for some reason i'm just too hesitant to start it but we're not doing that anymore a a way that i've learned to help deal with that is to start treating the parts 
to get to the point because you don't like you know when you draw you have to get your your equipment and everything set up be it you're a digital artist like myself or you're otherwise you have to go get your stuff together what are you going to draw with what are you drawing on what are you using where are your tools all that stuff and sometimes that alone to me would be enough for me to be like I don't want to do this anymore I have to go acquire and get these tools that are somewhere within my vicinity but I'm just like too lazy just can't do it so once I push past that and actually get the stuff I've been treating that part of the process to get to the actual goal that I want, which is to create something. I've been treating that part of the process of gathering the things that I need and like the beginning parts of it, like a ritual of some sort. I feel like the whole thing of instant gratification gets in the way when you can't just snap your fingers and get the kind of thing that you want. So for me, I can't just get my feature length uh, video or something like that out there with the snap of my fingers. I have to work for it. I have to put the stuff down for it. But I'm so used to instantly being able to get stuff that that becomes an issue to me that I can't get that instantly. But to go against that, I've been really just trying to enjoy the present moment, really trying to look at everything as just, you know, a way to work towards that given goal that I have and everything and see it for what it is. Another thing that's helped me with just self-discipline, it just it comes right back down to that initial feeling of discomfort to start the thing that you want to start just push past it sit down there's um one of my favorite artists i can't pronounce her name but i'll put her thing up or whatever but she's one of my favorites one of her advice things that she put in a magazine that i got from her was to just start like you really do just have to start even if it's just sitting down in front of a blank piece of paper it's better than nothing even if it's just daydreaming even if it's just talking about the idea even if it's just conceptualizing it whatever just start don't let the initial feeling of discomfort because you can't get it right away stop you from doing that and that's something that's like a really big thing that i've learned from self-discipline the new moon and aries energy to me along with the fact that it's a spring equinox uh, on top of that it is such i feel like this is a nice clean slate of an energy when it comes through it's going to be very rejuvenating for some people i think it could be and it's a fire we're in a fire sign at that so it's just going to be very very uplifting in a way it might be a lot more energizing for some it's making me feel very laid back and chill but we can use that energy of the new moon to propel us into the cycles that are coming you know this could be a really good time to work on passion projects this could be a really good time to start planting those seeds to see those things flourish over time as the moon becomes bigger and bigger and bigger in the sky so something to think about or to embody the elements of fire during that time if that's something that you want to plant the seeds of my question to you guys how do you practice self-discipline so like for me like i said it's pushing past that discomfort it's trying to get the thing done remembering what the purpose is for me to get that thing done and remembering how i feel after that that helps me practice and then over time it just becomes kind of second nature that I do want to do this artistic thing because I want to do it. It doesn't feel so much like work anymore and also rewards help so much being nice and kind to yourself whenever you do something right goes a long way how do you practice self-discipline how do you make sure that you disciplined in whatever kind of things that you want to get done something that i want to do for new moon videos specifically is give you a moment to think about what seeds do you want to plant for this current cycle because the new moon is like soil it's like new fresh soil it's bare it's ready for you to put anything in there that you can start to flourish for that part of the cycle until it becomes full and grows and you have your beautiful moon flower thing i guess i don't know so for me what i'm going to plant the seeds of are you know continued self-discipline of course and to keep pushing past that initial discomfort and I started reading this book that my mom got me called The Four Agreements. It's called The Four Agreements. And I'm going to start planting the seeds of that as well. I'm almost done with it, but I've already gotten to like 
what the four agreements actually are and they are so helpful. Those are the two main seeds that I'm planting and just keep going with my stuff and looking at life the way that I want to look at it and keep living life in the present. Those are the seeds that I'm planting. Since the new moon is here, that's a good time for you to plant some seeds, what, whatever they may be, for any sort of purpose. Take the time to figure out what it is that you're going to be focusing on and being mindful about during this cycle. A couple of cards kept falling out. Um, I'm not going to take them into account because it might not uh, apply to everybody who is listening to this right now. But if it does apply to you, do not let this opportunity slip you, pass you by, whatever the phrase is, whatever that means to you. The opportunity could be anything. It doesn't need to be just career. It could be anything. But don't let the opportunity pass you by. If it's right there, you are ready and deserving to take it. And even if you don't feel like you aren't ready to take it you are it's just your doubt it's just your personal beliefs or whatever stopping you but you are ready and deserving to take it so go take it um don't let don't stand still don't let indecisiveness or indecision keep you still so take that if it applies to you if it don't then i wasn't talking to you the new moon in aries is really going to be a celebratory time for some people um because I don't know like if you if you take the energy if you harness it how you need to harness it it could be a very wonderful time for you or or it could even mean that if you harness that energy that it will give you this these blessings these good times these whatever positive vibes later on into the cycle as long as you try to actually do something with it which is what I'm getting from the uh ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck which is talking about like you know you have to start this you are planting the seed so if you plant the seed now you will get something beneficial from it later uh plant the seed and tend to it don't just plant it and carry on because what's gonna what, what's gonna grow from that you know so keep that in mind even the ace of pentacles is again saying that whole thing of when you see an opportunity you need to take it so whatever that may mean for you uh, take it take the opportunity take the chance shoot your shot do whatever it is go for it in order to get what it is that you want and then also the energy that's coming from this new moon is to uh, pat yourself on the back and congratulate yourself for the things that you've done so far where you've gotten where you've came from and where you are right now very drastic areas regardless of who you are you're in a different spot now than you were some time ago, you know? So take some pride in that. Take some good stuff in that. Be like, I'm the shit for that for a little bit. Start planting more seeds because you still have so far to go and you got so many things to do, so many goals to reach, so many things. So I think this new moon is vibing. My overall energy to me personally, like I said, I just feel very groggy, but I'm still motivated to get stuff done. I feel like... I'm pushing past that feeling of discomfort a lot more, but I'm learning and I'm practicing so that when it comes up, it's not as difficult every time instead of giving in to the, oh yeah, I'm just going to lay back and do whatever kind of thing. Somebody tell me that they missed my time-lapse videos of me drawing, so I figured that maybe I could try to put those in the moon cycle vid so that you could have something to look at as I'm drawing, so... If that's something cool, then let me know if that's what you're fucking with in the comments. I'd really love it. I really do appreciate you guys spending some time with me. Uh, if you want to spend time with me live, I am available on Twitch Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. That's about it. Thank you so much for spending time with me again, like I said. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.